Hi everybody! So this is a bit of a midweek video that I don't normally do but I just wanted to jump on and talk to you about something that has been affecting me since the end of January. And I first of all just want to say that I am not a doctor and everything that I'm telling you is things that I've learned online and things that I've read about so please do not take my word as gospel and um, please do your own research before you start making any changes to your diet or lifestyle to um, reverse the effects of what I'm about to talk about. And that is periods. I lost my periods at the end of January and that is known as hypothematic amenorrhea. And from now on we are going to say HA. So HA is basically the loss of periods for three or more consecutive months and the reason that this happens can be from three factors. It can be all three or just one of the three and those reasons are significant change in weight with low body fat or just a change in your normal weight. Lack of food, so not providing your body with enough nutrients and in calories. If you're in a long term calorie deficit you can get HA and also stress on the body so that can be physical or mental stress but mainly physical stress kind of say if you're doing between two and three hours of strenuous exercise a day you can be at risk of getting HA and for me it was a factor of all three of those things so I am the lowest weight that I've ever been I have no idea what my body fat is but probably significantly low I've been in a calorie deficit since January and also I am training between two and three hours a day. So the combination of those things has meant that I have HA. So why does HA happen? So your thlematic, which is based inside of your brain, that controls the hormones that enable your reproductive system to work. And if your body isn't receiving the right nutrients or it's too low weight or it's under too much stress, Basically, the phlegmatic switches off the production of that hormone, which means, in turn, your reproductive system shuts down. Your body does this to protect itself because your body isn't ready to carry a child or to fall pregnant. And if you did fall pregnant at this time, it would be really difficult on your body and potentially you might end up miscarrying or losing a baby. So... Your body does this out of protection. Nobody likes having a period. The things that come along with a period are cramps, mood swings, eating a lot, feeling really rubbish and also having to go and buy tampons or, or other sanitary products that you use and just generally feeling a bit gross. But losing your period is really difficult and really emotionally quite hard to deal with as well. So when I lost my period I realized at the end of kind of January time I was two weeks late and as a single female panic set in so after between eight and ten pregnancy tests um, I came to the conclusion that actually I wasn't pregnant it was purely because of prep while I'm on this prep journey there's no way that I will get my period back but it's easy enough to do so once I actually finish prep and I come out the other side there's no kind of long-term effects of having HA unless you go past the 12 month mark. When you've been HA for 12 months or longer, because your body isn't producing estrogen, your bone density reduces, which can cause long term effects like osteoporosis and brittle bones disease. Being put into early menopause can bring on these kind of symptoms as well. So really, it's really important to try and make sure that you're not HA for a long period. My trainer has known f as soon as that happened to me and is aware of that situation and me and John are going to work together after prep to try and get those I've back. been doing a lot of research on HA and how to get back your periods once you've finished doing prep. It's There's not very much information out there. There's a couple of people like me on YouTube talking about their experience and it's a really hush-hush subject. So I just wanted to be completely open and honest with people about where my journey is at and the effects that it's having on my body. Yeah, it's fantastic that I've got abs and I look really lean, but actually the implications on my body are that my reproductive system has been shut down by my brain to say you are not in the right place to be carrying a child, which as a woman is quite scary and quite worrying. I know that it's not long term, so it's not something that I'm particularly 
concerned about at the moment. When I do come out of prep, there's a couple of different ways that you can build your body back up to make sure that you get your periods back. So the best way to do that is to reduce your exercise amount. Although I'm not going to completely stop exercise, I won't be doing as high intensity and I certainly won't be doing as long cardio and as many steps. I'll also increase my food, so really looking at the healthy fats that I'm getting into my body and making sure that I am gaining some weight. So ideally I need to be gaining about five kilos by the time I've got out of prep. It might take them six, it might take them three months, it might only take a month for me to get my period back, but I will continue to talk about this and will continue to bring you on my journey at the other end of prep as well talked about this today is because I think it's really important we look at this idealistic body type on Instagram with abs and looking really lean and and all of these things but actually the implications that it has on your body the sacrifices that you have to make to be show lean are really high and I think it's really important that we talk about it those things you don't have to be really low body fat it can be just pure stress on the body um if you are a power lifter and you're eating a lot of food but you are putting in intense stress on your body you could potentially get HA it's something that's not really spoken about I didn't know anything about this I knew that potentially being low um being a low weight can lo make you lose your periods but I had absolutely no idea that it could happen this quickly. It would feel quite so strange. It's really important that you're looking after your body, making sure that you are running on all cylinders. Hopefully when I come out of prep, I will be in a stronger position and my body will bounce back to the way that it was before. So thank you so much for the extra little video. I hope that you all understand why I've come on and decided to talk about this today.